All right, uh, hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I have a um, storage system input for kind of your generic item sorting. Um, this is our storage system that we have on uh, the EnterTech. Uh, we have just bulk items for you know things that we only have like 100k of. We have our multi-item sorter here, and we have our main storage hall here, along with a shulker box sorter that will sort that will sort uh, just boxes of items. Take the first item out, sort that, and then sort the chunk box accordingly. Um, oh, just minimize my game, sorry. Um, but basically, you need an input for all that. And so here's the one we have on Ender, so it's kind of large. Take the items out of a single chest really fast, and then we sort them accordingly there. So we sort them to chunk box and item, and then chunk box fill level, and then the items go separately, and then Shulker boxes get processed in weird ways. It's kind of laggy, pretty big, but it's built to like take mass quantities of items, which is really good for only one of the server. Um, but if you're kind of going for something that you're just going to be slowly inputting items in over time, uh, you know, you're just kind of designed for when we put in all the items into our storage system, it can handle that. But this is able to just handle stuff slowly over time, and it's a little bit better. Um, probably after we go through the initial blast and loading everything we have, at temp storage into here, we will tear down that old input and put in this new one because it's a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I want to explain kind of how it works. So first what we do is we have a generic item thing here. So if you have any items you want to sort, just, you know, you have a stack of trapdoors, stack of note blocks, stack of and lamps, you can go ahead and put all those items into the short box. You can even have, you know, whatever, just random the levels of stuff and it will you know come in the chocolate box and obviously see the problem that if this thing fills up completely with another item that you load into it it's not going to break automatically and so we have a manual trigger mechanism so let's say this get full of random items that you have uh, all you have to do is press a note block it will break the chocolate box and the chocolate box will then begin to get processed and i'll explain that in a second you'll see this lamp turn on briefly uh, that's just to indicate hopper locking and chunk loading, which I'll explain in a minute. And yeah. Now, another option we have is if you just have a ton of shulker boxes filled with random items in your inventory and you want to get rid of them, uh, you can just load uh, any type of shulker box in here, completely full, completely empty, and partially filled. And you can put that into here. And what it's going to do with it is basically just send it down into this thing, which will sort the fill level of the shulker box. So basically we take it through here and it will dispense the shulker box right here. And if it reaches signal strength 15, it will boost this dust up to 15. We will detect that, do some fancy observer stuff and lock these hoppers in a specific way that if it's completely full, we're gonna send it to this dropper here, rather this uh, barrel. And if it is empty or partially filled, we send it to, this is, I believe, uh, full and this is empty but we just merge those two here because it really doesn't make a difference if I'm being honest so whatever um, but yeah it's pretty nice actually um, it was designed by Rev Scallion again he's pretty trustworthy in the uh, storage tech discord on YouTube he's a really trustworthy guy um, for storage tech contraptions like this but we had to build around it to get where we are now obviously so yeah um, so then we can take our full boxes out of here, obviously, we just dispense those here, and we get our full shulk boxes here, where you can send it to your shulk box, uh, sort of there. Um, then what happens to the shulk boxes, if they're just shulk boxes filled with items, they'll get sent into these two double chests, that's why you can't put in a ton of items, I think the max is like 200k items you can just put in here, and then they'll just get sent into a queue, into a shulk box unloader, we're gonna unload those, Check to see if it's unstackable. If it's unstackable, we sort it down here into this dropper here, and then we'll dispense that down into water and take that down here where we have our unstackables and shulker boxes. And you can see all the items that we put in. Our shulker boxes can be empty, and the items that we put in are gone or have been taken out of it and whatever. So that's pretty nice. Um, uh, this thing right here is item batcher. And reps going whatever um, basically to dispense items in batches of 20 uh, kind of to avoid hopper cooldown so basically if you send 
items into a hopper at just hopper speed, it has the chance to miss some. So every couple times an item will go by, it'll just fly past the hopper, and then you'll get that in the overflow, and then you have a ton of extra items that you didn't ask for, and it's just a waste of kind of resources. Um, <clears throat> but with this, it avoids that. It sends 20 items. You can also adjust how many items it is with these hoppers here, so you can put uh, 17 and 3 or 20 in either one of those hoppers, and that'll kind of count to whatever you want. Uh, so I can show this off here, so if we just put in a stack of gray concrete, send that through. It's going to put into a shulker box unloader, and then we're going to see this thing kick in action. And we'll see a couple items get sent out, and if we stand right here, we'll see that every time we get items, we get 20. So that was 17. This time we're going to get 20. It was a little bit off because the way it works. There we get 20. There we get 20 again, and so on and so forth until, you know, you get however many you wanted. And yeah, it's actually really nice. Um, yeah. So from these two things, we are going to activate our chunk loading. So basically, if you put a ton of items in, and you're like, alright, I just want to leave, peace, um, this whole thing will be chunk loaded. I have a chunk loading grid that we used on Ender. Uh, this is actually the chunk loading grid we used. Um, so it is portal based, so we just send hopper, or minecarts through the portal, and then send them back at an interval of like, like a 19 item hopper clock, I think. Uh, no items in here. But yeah, and then we can Turn them on and off with our wheel, and yeah. But that line will come off of right here, so you can just have a repeater going into whatever chunk loading you have. You can have that coming off of here, and when that's uh, actually, you probably want to have this inverted, so have a torch somewhere. And so when this is on, you want your chunk loading off. So when this line here is powered, you want it to be uh, chunk loading off. Or you just take it directly from here. Doesn't really matter. Sure, you can figure it out. It's not you know, that complicated, um, but yeah. Um, so I can show this thing handling a full box. So we take a shulker box, and I fill it completely with gray concrete. Put the shulker box right there. So it gets handled, sent out here, and there's the first shulker box. Pretty neat. Um, so the hopper locking is actually controlled by a pretty cool circuit here. So the way this works is basically whenever we get any items trickling through the system, that's what this line is here and this line down here. So whenever we get any full shulk boxes coming through, we want to activate chunk loading. So that's what this does. It just pulses this piston down, and then that's going to power this redstone dust here, power this, and then it's going to depower this torch, and that's going to depower this, power this, it's going to lock this hopper and unlock this hopper. And basically, that's going to allow these eight items to flow into this one. And then once they get over there, uh, it's kind of weird because this thing will turn off. It, it's weird. I don't know how to explain it. And then they'll come back. I can show this working here, actually. So I turn it on. You'll see that all the items will trickle out. And nothing will, it, they won't come back, so you'll continuously get an output here until you remove the source. When you remove the source, these items will start trickling back, and then you'll lose this. And basically, you wouldn't have eight items in here. You'd actually have uh, that many to get the trickle to correct. It cannot be five stacks. It has to be uh, one less than five stacks, because this reads single strike 15, and if you read single strike 14, it'll work the same way. I just have it on eight so that you know it's quick for the uh, showcase. And obviously, you could break this a little bigger uh, it's kind of hard to do. I just made it small so that it fit in the fifth part. Uh, it's a little bit bigger up here. You could change this if you wanted to, but you just have some weird redstone hanging out here. And uh, it's not really the prettiest thing ever, but this little system back here works pretty nicely. You could probably build, made it, make it a little bit better, but hey, whatever. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a pretty compact system for what it does, really. Um, so basically, three things you need to know. You'll get unstackables and shulker boxes here. Um, all empty shulker boxes, no full shulker boxes, perfect full shulker boxes, only items, and unstackables will come through there. You'll get items in batches of 20 or less here, 
and then here you will get completely full shuttle boxes and yeah compared to what we have right now this one's definitely a bit smaller um, but it has the advantage or it has a disadvantage that you can't put in a ton of items at once which whatever doesn't really matter in our case but if you need to have it be able to put in a ton of items at once you can probably make it a little bit bigger but yeah one of the reasons I didn't hear you could actually make this a chest a little bit smaller or a little bit bigger there so yeah so yeah any partial full chocolate boxes or full chocolate boxes go in here their items go in here you can handle stackables anything you want can be thrown in this system uh, even TNT my cards uh, those are gone through here okay. really well unless you have an unstackable sorter if you have an unstackable sorter at the end I don't know how that works I'm not really too profound in the unstackable sorting community or whatever but yeah and I've made my best to make sure that there is next to no flashing dust the only flashing dust that you'll see in here is maybe this one when there's items going through this one will stay on one and if you get an unstackable it'll go to two but that's pretty rare uh, down here this one is going to flash you can't really do anything about that uh, when you get an unstackable out it'll flash this dust kind of sucks but I couldn't figure a way around it without making the foot break any bigger and then this dust here is on continuously or off continuously depending on what state this is in and this dust is just powered based on what state that is in this dust here is fine this line is either on or off and this one is the only one that's getting one tick there's only four pieces of dust there so it's not too bad and all that does is just put a signal through there so that the chocolate box can break and get sent through the system and there we'll see the Hopper locking line, come on. You can also hook this up to hopper locking. So an ender, here we have hopper locking. So uh, this line is like the same thing as that, essentially. Comes up, when it turns on, or off, rather, uh, all this will turn off, and the hopper locking for the whole sorting system will turn completely off, and everything will be unlocked. You can also lead this up to chunk loading. We have that on the actual server, and so on and so forth. But, yeah. Probably gone on long enough about this contraption. Uh, kind of silly, but it, it's actually pretty functional. So yeah, I'll leave a lematic in the description. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.